All right, guys, so we have a cool little unboxing here today. Um, as you can see, I've just removed my personal information off that label, but uh, that's all I've done so far. This is a iPod Touch first generation with box. And the reason I picked this up is because it was actually a pretty good deal. I only paid $50 plus shipping and it's a 16 gig model and uh, for those who have been around the channel for a long time know I already have an iPod Touch first generation but I don't have the box with it so when I saw this I figured it was a pretty good deal all of the other ones I've seen with box are ludicrously expensive so I just decided to go ahead and spend the money to get this as it's probably you know one of those things that won't come along again or at least for a while as um, pretty much anything older right now than like an iPhone 4 or so with box is really hard to find uh, at a decent price at least. Um, I've been looking for an iPhone 3G in white. There's only one for sale and it's in horrible shape and there's none for sale with box. But anyway, um, we're going to take a look at this and... This will probably be the last first gen I buy. I don't know if I'll end up keeping my other one or getting rid of it and just keeping this one. Um, my other one's in really good condition. It's got a screen protector and a case and very minimal scratching. This one, the listing was kind of hard to see uh, the condition of the back. That's it in there. Kind of some weird tape, paper tissue here. But wow, there it is. It's not the John Lennon edition, but that's okay. The box is in absolutely fantastic brand new condition. 16 gigabyte, very beautiful. So let's take a look. Foam is in great shape on the inside. 16 gig model again, if I didn't mention that. We have a really nice condition iPod cloth. And then there we have the iPod. I can tell the front is in really, really immaculate condition. The back is in decent shape, probably pretty close to what mine is right now, my other one. Let's see if we have any juice. Get that booting up. And wow, look at this. I don't know if this was original or not. I never had one of these brand new. I had the second gen brand new. That was my first Apple device besides the iPod mini. Um, we have the dock connector. Again, don't know if that was included originally. We have this pouch. 30 pin cable. And we have what appears to be an iPod pouch. Again, don't know if that was included originally or if this was a separate purchase or... I'm not familiar with that one. And here we have our paperwork. Have Apple stickers. Our fingertips guide, if they still called it that our warranty paper and looks like kind of like an original wrapper maybe that's what the cables came in I'm not sure exactly but yeah surprising amount of extras here again this could just be old Apple this could just be what was included Back in the day, you know, I remember the iPhone first gen had the entire dock uh, included with that. So, who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know if that's included. 
uh, originally or if those are separate add-ons, but uh, super cool to have. I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to find that kind of stuff anywhere else. But as you saw, the iPod did pop on. Let's check our software. Oh, that is excellent. As you can see, maybe it's pretty bright. As you can see, we're running 1.1.5. 1 that is crazy. I have never had a device on that. As you can see, there's there's no pages and there's no app store. You just get your apps that come pre-installed and um, back when Apple was first starting their you know original version they were wanting you to do web apps I remember Steve Jobs demoing you know you just go to Safari and you save whatever web page or game or whatever it was you just make the bookmark to your home screen and that's what they were gonna do and they quickly realized that you know that was not a good way of doing things so they later added the App Store but as you can see we're on version 1 there's no app store. You have YouTube, which obviously that app hasn't worked in at least eight years. <clears throat> you have iTunes, which might still work. Um, I'll have to play around with that later. I know some of the older iTunes still works. Um, but sometimes they randomly kill it off. I think they finally killed off iOS 6 Siri because I can't get it to work anymore. Um... But yeah, this one is in really good shape. As you can see, there's no scratching around that beautiful bezel. Looks absolutely new. We'll have to see how the battery life is as well. My iPod Touch first gen that I already have has outstanding battery life still. Um, I'll have to see if it's recognized in coconut battery on the Mac, but um, that's a pretty accurate way of, of judging battery, but mine has really good battery, so I'm hoping this one has a good battery, because these are a pain in the butt to open. But um, yeah, without further ado, we'll stop rambling there. That is, this is much better than I expected. This is absolutely insane we have original software we have all of these accessories we have this box that's in just brand new condition the iPod is in really good condition so I'm really excited about this and um, we'll, we'll maybe play around with this more on the channel we'll have to see but uh, for now that's another one added to the collection and close out here we'll see you guys in the next video